thing I've been using for the past two years that has really saved me a lot of time and work, which means I'm excited about it, is a add-on to Google Sheets called Formule. Now, what it is is a mail merge utility. It's completely free, but it allows me to craft an email and send to multiple recipients that have a variance in the sort of response I'm giving them. Whether it is to send walkthrough feedback to teachers, in other words, I'm going to send an email that's basically the same to every teacher, but the feedback is going to be different or if it's to send grade reports to students or absences, it allows me to craft one email and send different data. And that's really exciting to me. Just open up Google Sheets, click on Add-ons, click uh, search for Form Mule, which is like a, a, a portmanteau of the words Form and Mule, and uh, or like Formula with an E instead of an A at the end and then you just add it. All right, I just wanted to walk you through a little bit of what it was like to go through Formule. Um, <coughs> I'm at home, so if you hear children come through screaming, just ignore it. I also wanted to show you something cool that I like to do with email. Um, ooh, wow, look at that. Filled it right in. Uh, if you, uh, when you access this, you can see how I did that. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to reference the B2 cell, and then I hit AND to add another uh, section of text to it. And then I do left because I want the first initial from A2. So I do A2, and then one tells me the first character. Then I do AND, add more text, and then I put in quotes uh, the uh, end of the email address, and that throws it all together like that. So uh, sometimes learning uh, little uh, Excel codes like that can save you time. You guys probably already know all those, but just thought I'd add that. So if you're going to add Form Mule, uh, you're going to click on Add-ons, and you can see I already had it here, but where did I get that? So I clicked on Get Add-ons. Let me move this. So we're going to search Add-ons, and we'll type in Form Mule. And you can see it come up here, uh, Formula Email, and you'll see a place to get it here. It's free, uh, and so then you'll add it to your um, add-ons. So once you've done that, then you come up here and you click on add-ons, and you go to Formula, and you're going to launch it. Alright, and so then you're going to select the sheet. The sheet is what's down here at the bottom. Uh, I've only got one, which is sheet one. But that's kind of important because this is where you're going to grab all your data. So then you're going to go to, um, and you can save this template as anything. I'm going to save this as principal list. And you do want to send it for all rows. And then you'll go to save template settings. And now we're going to edit the template. Now, um, so remember we generated that email list. So who are we going to send it to? These emails. And that's going to go to every single email in that list. Uh, if you wanted to like blind copy yourself on it, you could do that just to have a record of it. You can set the reply to, if it's something you don't want like a bunch of replies to, you can just go to uh, do not reply. And the subject, I'm just going to call this a test because I'm going to be emailing you guys here in a second. And so then I'm going to just say your first name. It always comes up with a list here. So whatever is in these brackets is what's going to show. And I'll show you. If I, so if I click on this, you can see where it's got Kyle there in brackets. So I'm going to put a comma after that. So now you can see what that looks like. And I'm going to say this is just a test email that I am sending from 
a spreadsheet I'm using to make a video to show you guys how to use form, uh, formula. If you want to know what I'm talking about, check the Canvas course in the bottom module under formula. Okay. And so, um, by the way, you work at, and so, I don't want to say it different, the kids at are so lucky to have you as a principal. Who's your pal? The principal. All right, so you're going to click on preview this, and so you can see what Kyle's look like. It's going to his email, and it says Kyle. It's a test. Blah blah blah. And look at that data from the principal column that we or from the school column we submitted, and it's going to say Fairmount. But when we go down to um, Vonda's, it's going to say Avoca. If we go to Rachel's, it's going to say Haynesfield. If we go to Christie's, it's going to say Holston View. I probably spelled Christie's name wrong, and I have to go check that. And I'll do that before I... Well, maybe I won't. I'll let it just go to the wrong person. can't remember if you're a C or a K, and I think it's a C, but now I think it's a K, and then I thought it was a C. I'm sorry, Christie. I'm a bad friend. Um, so, once you've gotten all of this uh, done... So, uh, you can get a preview and send all. And so it's going to fetch a preview again. And so this is what the email looks like. And you can uh, quickly go through all of these. And then, once you are done with that... Sorry, it's hiding. Click on send now. And then it tells you when you send it and who you send it to and all of that. And you are done. So you will receive this email. So this will hopefully solve that mystery for you. Have a great day. Well, and since this is mostly for administrators or even teachers that want to get this uh, information out, this is a real-world application. I'm using this to uh, streamline what used to be copying and pasting an email and then going in and changing the data. Instead of having to do that for each recipient, I now have to just type this email once and insert little codes using uh, whatever the column is named. Uh, in brackets, and it will insert that data that's in that specific cell. Well, for example, if you have to deal with lockers and locker numbers and then combinations and all of that, you could send and uh, go ahead and like export from PowerSchool the student's name and their email and their parents' email. Then put in locker, locker number, combination, or locker number, then combination, and have that information in for each student, because you've already got that on file. Add the formula and type up the email. This is the student's lo locker number and combination for the year. Send that email. They're always going to have that in there. And it would literally take you less than five minutes to send that to every student in your school. Uh, they can email me at hornj at btcs.org. That's H-O-R-N-E-J at btcs.org. Or if they're in the Bristol City School System, just dial 247. I'm always here at my desk.